सब्सक्राइब कीजिए ईएसए क्लासेस चैनल को और बेल आइकन दबाइए हमारे लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए रिविजन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन एक्ट्स वेन ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर स्टेशनरी कैनेडिक फ्रिक्शन एक्ट्स वेन ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर स्लाइडिंग और रोलिंग वाइल्ड रोलिंग और स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन इज कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज इक्वल टू म्यू कैनेडिक इन टू रिएक्शन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज म्यू कैनेटिक इन टू रिएक्शन फॉर रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन इज ऑलमोस्ट जीरो ओके बट वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज स्टेशनरी फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट when object is stationary maximum frictional force maximum frictional force is called limiting frictional force and it is equal to mu s into r if object is of 5 kg and if mu s is 0.4 then gravity pulls object downwards with 5 g mg it is about 50 newtons so this surface pushes this object in upward direction with same force therefore reaction in this case is 50 newton so limiting frictional force is mu s into r mu s is 0.4 and r is 50 so 50 into 0.4 is 20 newton so static frictional static friction limiting friction is 20 so 20 newton is not always present 20 newton frictional force is not always present if i am pushing this object with 10 newton then friction applies only 10 newton and object remains stationary if i apply 15 newton then friction also applies 15 newton and object remains stationary but if i apply 21 newton then friction can go maximum up to 20 this is maximum force which friction can apply when object is stationary what is it it is maximum force which friction can apply when object is stationary so if i am applying 21 newton then friction applies 20 because it can go up to 20 it cannot go beyond 20 so total force on object becomes 21 minus 20 1 and object moves with 1 newton but when object starts moving but when object starts moving static frictional force does not act does not act static frictional force does not act right now object is moving therefore kinetic frictional force starts to act therefore kinetic frictional force starts to act okay then if there is a runner and if he is running in this direction towards right hand side then force due to friction on his feet is also towards right hand side if there is a cyclist and if he is providing energy to the rear wheel he, he is going in this direction and he is providing energy to the rear wheel then on real rear wheel frictional force is towards right and on front wheel frictional force is towards left 
when cyclist stops providing energy to the rear wheel through pedaling then friction on both wheels is towards left and due to this friction cycle stops after some distance then angle of friction is angle made by resultant of reaction and frictional force angle made made by resultant of reaction and frictional force with reaction that angle is tan inverse of mu angle of repose is angle of inclined plane angle of inclined plane for which object just starts to slide this is also same as angle of friction tan inverse of mu then the object of 10 kg is on the floor and we are supposed to calculate force p to move this object okay so gravity pulls this object in downward direction with 10 g that is 100 newton therefore this surface puts force in upward direction that is reaction force and that is equal to mg now static frictional force is mu s into r r is 10 into g 100 so this is 50 newton and kinetic frictional force is 0 0.3 into r r is again 100 this is 30 newton so if object is moving then friction applies 30 newton and if object is stationary then frictional force is not constant friction can go maximum up to 50 newton if i am applying 40 then friction applies 40 if i am applying 45 then friction also applies 45 if i am applying 50 then friction also applies 50 if i go just beyond 50 then friction cannot go beyond 50 friction maximum can apply 50 newton so object starts to move so minimum required force to move this object is 50 newton for this case gravity pulls this object in downward direction mg which is 4 4g and reaction is in upward direction therefore reaction is equal to 4g which is 40 newton there are two components of force p this component is p cos 30 and this component is p sin 30 and in this direction friction acts f f r so for vertical direction vertical direction this is uh, this is not correct this is wrong for vertical direction upward force is equal to downward force upward force is r plus p sin 30 and downward force is equal to force g okay and for horizontal direction for limiting case p cos theta pulling force is equal to frictional force f f r object is just about to move therefore frictional force is limiting which is mu s into r and this is p cos 30 so this is one equation and this is second equation and there are two variables p and r p and r by solving these two we can calculate force required p and reaction r then
if this is the situation and we are supposed to calculate force required to pull this object in upward direction so first force is due to mass mass produces mg in this direction mg cos theta this is theta 45 is theta in this case and in this direction mass gives mg sin theta due to p force in this direction is p cos 30 force in this direction is p sin 30 surface gives reaction r and surface also gives frictional force f f r after applying force p object is just about to move in upward direction object is just about to move therefore therefore friction is maximum therefore friction is limiting for this direction for this direction r plus p sin 30 is equal to mg cos theta theta is 45 in this case and for this direction object is just about to move therefore object is right now in equilibrium and if I go just beyond force p then object starts to move in upward direction so for this direction also there is equilibrium p cos 30 is equal to mg sin theta plus f f r but friction in this case is maximum therefore mu s into r so there are two variables r and p r and p and all other parameters are known so we can calculate it by solving these two equation first equation and second equation then if object is placed on a surface and if we are pulling it through angle theta and force applied is p if theta can be varied and if we can vary force as well then minimum force required to move this object minimum force required to move move this object is when theta is equal to angle of friction when force is applied at angle of friction then force required to move this object is minimum and minimum force is mu mg mu s mg divided by 1 plus one plus mu square root then if two blocks are placed on a surface like this and in between a b there is no friction and between b and surface there is no friction and if we are pulling first object with force f then acceleration of object a is f by m a its mass and acceleration of object B is 0 if we are pulling upper object with force F and force force is less than static frictional force or limiting frictional force between A and B in second case AB has friction A and B has friction in between them but B and surface has no friction and if force applied if it is less than static frictional force between A and B then both objects move with same acceleration and that acceleration is F upon MA plus MB
and if force applied is greater than static frictional force or limiting frictional force between A and B then acceleration of A is F minus kinetic frictional force between A and B divided by mass of A and acceleration of B is kinetic frictional force upon mass of B if an insect is going in upward direction in this bowl radius of bowl is small r and this surface has coefficient of friction mu then it can go maximum up to height h that height h is r minus r cos theta or r minus r upon root 1 plus mu square and what is theta tan of theta is mu okay then in this case if both objects are moving in downward direction m2 is moving in downward direction and m1 is towards right then we are supposed to calculate acceleration of the system okay so first we will check forces on m2 first force is due to gravity m2 g second is due to this tension t it has only two forces and it is moving with acceleration a in downward direction then this object has first force due to gravity m1 g second force due to surface reaction r third due to friction f f r and fourth due to tension t and this object is moving towards right hand side a for this object r reaction is equal to m1 g frictional force is mu k into r because object is moving therefore kinetic frictional force t minus mu k into r mu k into r is frictional force t minus this force is total force on this object total force divided by mass is equal to acceleration of m1 this is first equation and for this we can write m2 g minus t is the total force on this divided by mass m2 is equal to acceleration this is the equation for this mass so t, two equations and two unknowns t and acceleration we can solve this if a chain is kept on a table length of the chain is l and l dash part is hanging so we are supposed to calculate l dash length l dash such that chain starts to move in downward direction that l dash is mu l upon mu plus 1 mu is coefficient of friction between chain and table l is total length of the chain l dash is what l dash is hanging part of the chain due to which chain will start moving in downward direction then this is a wall and we have pressed an object we have pressed an object at the wall with force f such so that it does not move in downward direction due to gravity so we are supposed to calculate minimum force required minimum force required So if we are pushing this towards wall with force F then wall also pushes this with reaction R. So therefore reaction is equal to F minimum whatever force we applied is reaction. Gravity pulls this object in downward direction mg and friction be between this object and this wall is in upward direction which is mu into R that is mu s r because object is stationary so mu s 
एन टू आर इज इक्वल टू एम जी फॉर लिमिटिंग एस म्यू एस इन टू आर आर इज वॉट फोर्स अप्लाइड इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू जी सो फोर्स अप्लाइड मिनिमम फोर्स अप्लाइड इज एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई म्यू एस this object capital m having mass capital m is accelerating towards right hand side with a acceleration and object having mass small m gets stuck at this point at this point of mass capital m because of pseudo force so this acceleration what should be minimum value of this acceleration so that this small object does not move in downward direction due to gravity it should remain at the same position minimum acceleration is g upon mu minimum minimum acceleration is g upon mu then a hollow cylinder is rotating and with it an object is rotating that object is not coming downward due to gravitational pull gravitational pull is countered by frictional force so minimum omega required to keep this object at same height is root g upon mu r what is it root g upon mu r 